We begin tonight with plans to upgrade the heating, ventilation and air conditioning or HVAC systems at the Art Museum of South Texas. City leaders say the upgrades come as the systems are failing and outdated. Brandon Schaff joins us in studio live tonight to explain the city's plan to fix the problem with our top story. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Brian. Well, this is a multi-million dollar project that could take years to complete, and the Art Museum has two HVAC systems in each building, so both need to be replaced here. And city leaders say that the newer Legareta building's chiller failed, and they had to take action. It's reached the end of its useful life. It's had several failures. In fact, it's offline right now. We have a temporary chiller. City Manager Peter Zanoni explained that a project is planned to replace the HVAC systems in both Art Museum of South Texas buildings. He said the old connection to the American Bank Center, where this is a chilled water system, will have to be decoupled. The Art Museum will eventually have two new independent chillers. That is the plan for the surrounding attractions as well. We have to do that to all the facilities around here that are on this loop system. It's an older, outdated loop system, so the Science Museum as well and the Harbor Playhouse will be ones that we're going to decommission over the years. Uh, but the Art Center will be the first. The project will cost about $3.5 million and will go to Corpus Christi City Council for approval this Tuesday. Zanoni said the seawall fund, which comes from sales tax revenue, would pay for it. He said those funds and overall project were approved by the Corpus Christi Business and Job Development Corporation Type A Board. This area is going to be coming back to life. Uh, it's going to be a great destination with a lot of different things to do for families or individuals. Uh, there's multiple destinations that they can go to and that's what we want. That's what families want. Zanoni said the area near the Art Museum has been underutilized in recent years. And he explained that that can change by revitalizing the water garden and investing in local attractions that people can easily get around to. If somebody can park their vehicle and go to something at the Salina. They can spend time here. They could check out some of the art. They could spend time on the seawall. So it's a great location. Uh, we're glad we're, re we're revitalizing it and bringing things back online. And the estimated construction schedule begins in February of 2025 and lasts for about a year, meaning that these upgrades could come in early 2026. Brian.